We welcome you back and we welcome in the third year strength and conditioning coach of the Connecticut Sun. His name is Tim Juhas, third year with the Sun, Tim, but you're not new to professional sports. You've been around the block a few times in terms of being a strength and conditioning coach for other teams, uh, other athletes, different sports, a little bit of your background. Sure. Thanks, Bob, for having me, first of all. Um, yeah, I've, I've been in the game for about 27 years. Um, at different levels. So professional, collegiate, I was a strength coach at UConn for a little while after I got my degree there. Um, and I've opened, over the years, I opened my own business um, to, uh, actually, to be honest with you, I tried to start it at high school because I, I figured the kids in high school need to learn how to train and they just weren't getting the proper, uh, you know, appropriate training. So long story short, the school budgets weren't there. So we ended up opening our own business and I've, been, I've had the good fortune of training a lot of Major League Baseball athletes and NHL athletes and, and obviously now with the Sun. So it's a, it's a really neat opportunity for me to, to throw in the, you know, the female athletes as well. How did you actually come about getting connected with the Connecticut Sun? Um, it was a few years ago, actually. Um, Jer Jeremy Norman, the athletic trainer on the team, is a very good friend of mine. And he's always uh, you know, advocated me and wanted me on, on board. Um, and I was friends with Mike Tebow back in the day when he was here. And we just missed an opportunity to connect then. It was a business uh, issue with my timing, kind of timing, so to speak. But then um, uh, once there was a change of coaching here a couple of years ago, they approached me again to come in and we we're all for it. So um, the great thing is that the, the team was willing to come and train at, at my facility, which was a huge thing because it's a, it's a pretty neat facility. It's a state-of-the-art place to train. And we do some of our training up here at the Tribal Center, but a lot of it's done down there. And, and, it helps me get the players, uh, you know, their best workouts possible. 12 players on the Connecticut Sun. I imagine it's 12 different approaches. How hard is it to get to know each player on an individual basis and determine their needs from a strength and conditioning standpoint? That, that's a great question because everything that we do, even though it's in a team setting or even in my business with even adults, it's a group type setting, we still try to individualize everything. So when we start off the season, we will assess each athlete and through that assessment, we will come up with a roadmap and, and a game plan to um, individual, and even, again, it's, even though it's done in a group setting, we're gonna try to make it doable for them as well. Because some of the athletes coming in may not be familiar with my type of training. So we're gonna make it as easy for them as possible to, to get success, but also correct some of these movement pattern dysfunctions. Because everything we do, Bob, is about getting these athletes to move better. And some of them, quite frankly, coming from their schools where they didn't have a lot of time to train maybe, they're behind the eight ball a little bit. So I can bring that to the table where we can get them um, as individualized as possible and make it better for them to, you know, number one, stay away from the injury bug. We've got a lot of injuries, but we're trying to nail that down. And that comes from improper movement patterns. How much time do players actually spend in the weight room during the course of the season? You don't want to overwork them, but you want to keep them on a regimen, don't you? Right, yeah, great, great point. We, we usually get two workouts in a week, which they last about an hour. So we get all the components that we need to get into our kind of our athlete building soup, so to speak, um, in within an hour. But then they've got stuff they've got to do on their own at home. And that might, that might be just like soft tissue work where they're foam rolling or doing self-massage or they're active isolated stretching assignments that we give them. So we're always trying to keep that 24 hour athlete mentality. And like I was mentioning before, the simple things done savagely well, if they can keep those things focused, they should see a lot of improvement. Final thing, who's the strongest player on the Connecticut Sun? Uh, strongest player right now is probably Morgan. And, and basically because she had that extra benefit of training with me, we got her, uh, you know, by the end of the uh, off season, she was deadlifting three, 325 with us for five reps. So. Pretty impressive. Tim, great spending the time with you. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for having me. Great being here. That's Tim Juhas, strength and conditioning coach of the Connecticut Sun. We're back after this.